some of the things that you have to do, some of the things that's like eligibility requirements to be able to apply and try to get into the uh, LVN and also the RN process. So, and you'll also have an opportunity to ask questions too, you know, before or after. Thank you very much. We really appreciate you coming out here. Thank you. And hopefully we'll, we'll, you know, make this an annual thing to where, you know. We can get other speakers out here. Yeah, we have a lot of speakers that come in here. Yeah. I'm going to sit down if that's okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Or I just have to try that. Um, good afternoon. My name is Jessica Williams again. Um, I'm an instructor at the APM program. I teach uh, the transition um, class, which is the LVN to RN. Okay. And so when it comes to our program, we have different ways that you can choose your career if you want to be into if you want to get into nursing. Okay, so we have our VN program. It's in the yellow, and then our ADN program, and you have those templates there. So with our uh, vocational nursing student track, it's, it is one year. There's no prerequisites. Um, you'll get 48 hours semester credit, and then when you graduate, you'll get a certificate of proficiency and then you'll be ready to uh, take boards for your LVN license. For your uh, ADN, it is the generic track. Um, it's two years, you, get, you do have to have prerequisites. Um, you'll get your 60 semester credit hours. You do graduate with an associate of applied science degree, and then you'll be um, RN board ready. And then you'll, of course, with that, you'll have your RN license. So our biggest motto is one and done, okay? Um, so one and done means we want you to get in there, get the work done, and pass that first time, okay? And so that's the model that we want to put on to you going into your a and classes and your, and your science classes because we, we look at those to get you in, in there because we go off a score sheet and we look at those. We see how many times you've taken it. We see if you get to ABC, those types of things. So... Um, you want to make sure that you get in there, you get it done, you do it good the first time, okay? So again, with our associate degree program, right, it is based out of here, okay? Your school hours are usually going to be Monday through Friday. Um, typically, um, it depends on what semester you're in, but like first semester they have um, pinnacles, what, Tuesday, Wednesdays, and then uh, third, fourth third, fourth, and transition, you have Thursdays and Friday clinicals, okay? Um, so usually the hours will vary. Um, so the biggest thing is making sure you complete your submission to SPC, and then you want to be TSI compliant. You got to take your T's test, okay? And then, of course, I have the scoring there for that. And then um, you want to make sure you have a GPA 2.5, or better on your regular courses, but you want to have a 2.8 on your sciences. Okay, so that's something that you want to make sure you pay attention to. Um, and then, of course, you want to complete your prerequisites with a C or better. Um, and then, again, we're looking at those sciences, right? Because that's where we're really honing in and we're teaching a lot and, and it's a building thing. So you got to make sure that you have a good foundation on your sciences from here, okay? Um, and then, of course, you got to be CPR certified. So, of course, with being an RN, which I am, um, you can go in all the areas pretty much. You can go in emergency room, intensive care, labor delivery, clinics, home health, case management, charge nurse, nurse soup, or supervisor, nurse educator, and, of course, director of nursing. Okay? So there's a lot of things that you can get into with an RN, right? It's, it's, I mean, the possibilities are, are endless. And then for the VN program, we do have a campus out of Loveland, Plainview, and Reese, which is based out of Lubbock. The um, school hours are Monday through Friday. Again, the hours vary. But the requirements is a high school diploma or GED, your T's, test, TSI compliant, a 2.0 grade point average, and your CPAR certification. So VN is just a little bit different, okay, qualifications. So with the VN, you will have to have some supervision over with the RN, okay, just some, right? You got to make sure you're being trained and that you're going to be looked over um, with an RN, okay? And then uh, with a VN, you can work in, a, in the hospital. Pretty much most of these, 
med surge, renal, oncology, pediatrics, okay? Um, all clinics, home health, rural hospitals, okay, in most areas, they want LVNs there. And then in the nursing home, um, usually a nursing home, a lot of my VNs become supervisors and directors mm -hmm. there, okay? So there is a way to move up, all right? And then, so you're like, okay, I'm going to LVN, but I still want to do get my RN. I want to get my RN track, right? So this is what I did. I applied to all the ADN schools, all the RN schools. I didn't get in, okay? And so what I did is I went to LVN school, and then I got my uh, certificate of proficiency. I worked for about four or five years, and I went back to ADN and got my ADN, and I went up from there. I got my RN. Okay, and so, um, and this is another track that you can go. So if you happen to go get your LVN, you work, or you happen to get your LVN, and then you come to the ADN transition, it's only three semesters. You still have to make sure you have your prerequisites that you needed for your ADN, okay, which is your A&P, micro, and your English, and all the ones that you needed. You will complete with 60 semester credit hours. Again, you will graduate with your associate degree. In uh, applied science, you will be NCLEX ready to um, take your boards for your RN license, okay? And this is actually my group of students from last semester that are in third semester now, okay? So, and some of them just took their NCLEX last semester. For the LVN, they're working. There's a lot of scholarships out there, too, uh, for RN and LVN. Um, but, yes, especially with for advancement. So you'd be actually in the advancement placement program because you're already licensed. So um, again, you'll have to go to Level Land for school. Um, the hours for us are Tuesday, Wednesdays, and some Thursday, Fridays for the first semester. And then of course things change as you move forward, okay? Uh, requirements, of course, um, SBC admission, then you wanna be TSI compliant, TEAS, GPA of a 2.5, and of course, prerequisites need to be a 2.8. And then, uh, of course, your non sciences see you're better. And then, um, either already attain your LVN license, or you already have it, or you have to at least get it within six months of being in my, being in the course, okay? Starting. So, if you look at this, oops, go back. If you look at this here, there's plenty of ways to get there, right? but all of it will lead to success, okay? A lot of us are already thinking in our mind, ooh, I just wanna go RN. I just wanna do RN right now, RN, RN, RN. But sometimes life happens, right? And you can't get there as fast as you want. But however you get there, progression, however you progress and whatever you do, and you keep in mind that I wanna do the best and I wanna get here, there's a way to get there. You probably won't get it the first time, the second, but you at least get the third, okay? Um, and uh, with whatever track you want to obviously take, okay? So there's, um, our, our school is the only one that has LVN, so, um, but there are other RN courses out there, um, but we, we highly suggest to come to ours, of course, because, um, you know, we have changed a lot of, of our curriculum to make things better. And uh, we wanna make a good nurse out there because someday y'all gonna be taking care of us. <laughs> You know what I mean? I try not to giggle, but it's it's one of those things, right? So I want to make sure I feed into somebody who I know is going to be a quality nurse and who's really the, who's going to um, take responsibility and know that you're going to be taking care of your human life, okay? And and realize that now, taking your English and your A and P's and your micros, make sure you focus on that now to have that strong foundation. So as you move up, you don't you you have it there and you have that knowledge. Okay, um, so this is just a little. Do I just? I don't want to push. This is a movie. Oh, it's a movie. Yeah. What is this? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is a another thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Does it have speakers? I know I'm very. That's 
Ya es más fácil. We take mission trips. So when you are part of us, uh, you can be a part of the NSA, which is a National Student or Nursing Student Association. And we take trips. We did a mission trip last semester to El Paso, and we had an open clinic there. Um, we also do Dream Center, where we do health checks there. Um, we're starting to develop more outreach. Um, we're doing a blood drive soon. And then we'll also want to do a bone marrow um, bone marrow drive as well. So, I mean, we're nurses, right? And we want to put that out there, that we need these things. You get to work with a lot of different people. You get to work with nurse practitioners. Um, and like I always tell people, when you're on the clinical floors and you're working with those people, you're pretty much going to be working with your colleagues one day, especially if you want to be there, right? And these are some of these are our seniors right now. And some of these have already graduated. You're going to learn a lot of skills, how to do pumps, how to put follies, how to put IVs. Okay. Um, we Right now, we're still allowed to stick each other. So that's what we do. I had a student stick me last week. It's great. Good stuff. Um, but it's all for learning. Okay. Those are the, some of the LVNs that are there. We do simulation. That's our mannequin. So we do a lot of simulation. We want to make sure that you can take care of a mannequin before we get you out there in the real world taking care of people. That ends my presentation. Does anybody have any questions? I have a, I have a question. Um, so what are some of the characteristics that a student should have or develop prior to, you know, as far as getting into the nursing program? Like, what are some of the things that they can kind of strengthen, you know, that's going to help them be successful? Um, for num number one would be organization. Um, I am also, so I'm a lot of things where I work. <laughs> I'm the retention specialist there, which I try to retain the students when they're not doing very well. So, um, because I want to find out what's going on and then grow you from there. Um, but usually the biggest thing I see is organization um, and study habits. That's one of the biggest weaknesses that I see. So um, if you uh, don't have good study habits and good organization skills to stay on top of your on top of your things, then that's something that you definitely want to make sure that you you get into because that's where a lot of students struggle. And then it, and then by the time they come see me, it's already too late and they're failing because they've already, you know, they're they're studying too late. They're not studying like there should be. Okay. And so my suggestion with with that would be to study at least three to four hours a day, have your class notes, have your book notes and your your regular notes that you understand. And making sure that you're able to apply that information by answering questions and doing stuff with your with your book and your text or whatever and your quizzes that your instructors give you. So organize, being organized and um, having good study habits is a big thing. 
If you don't have that, you better get it because it's it's hard because your first semester you have five classes. So, yeah. Is that for LVM or RN? For both. For both. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's for both. So. If you come in on, to do the LVM and then you work as an LVM, so when you come back, you have to take the sciences and everything over for again? No, the sciences on there, they're good for five years. Five years. Yes. Yeah. But we don't want it to go past five because you forget what you don't use. And that's what I did. I took all my classes for mm -hmm. RN. And then when I wasn't able to get into the RN program, I went straight to the LVN. And then um, before my my courses, my classes were expired, I went ahead and signed up and I got into this program, the ADN transition program. So a lot of the people I work with are the ones that taught me. So I was told that like microbiology might not be required. Like is it for sure? Like do they need microbiology? For next semester, I don't think it is. Yeah. But I would definitely want to make sure. Oh, and another thing, too, I kind of wanted to teach y'all because um, if you go on the website here, okay, if you go to degrees, explore programs, you go to health sciences. You pick either one, whichever one you want, okay? And then um, you just say, we're just going to pick this one here. Okay? So everything is on here. So, of course, you definitely want to make sure you're reading through everything. Um, but, like, your full, the application and testing requirements, everything is on here for you to follow, Okay? So you don't have to come to our office to go get it. If you want to come and visit, that's fine. We, we love it. We love visitors, okay, and questions. But if you want to go ahead and, and get your application from here, everything's already on here for you. And it has a list of all the things that you need. And then, of course, it goes into, um, into all your different semesters of what you would be taking, okay? And then if you did the, the LVN track and then you go LVN to RN, you have all your stuff here as well. But yeah, see that very first semester, there's a lot going on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Granted, you're not you're you're not taking them all at once, but you're, you know, you go you take one and then you pass it and you go to the next course. Okay. So do y'all do y'all prefer that students complete all the prerequisites plus the other prior to? Do they get like the extra you get time? more points if everything's completed? And I'm not gonna lie, with everything going on in first semester, it is it is highly highly beneficial if you get everything done first. And I have two young ladies here that have already have one in first and one in second that um, that started. I actually taught one of them, <laughs> uh, and then this semester I moved straight into transition, so she has not been able to, but yes, they can attest that it is best to get all your things done, so all you're doing is focusing on what needs to be focused on, because this is a lot of material. This is your foundation of nursing. We're teaching you a lot here, and it's so, I love it, and it's so beautiful to see that when y'all come in, you're like, <gasps> Oh my God, what do I do? And then by the end, you're just like this confident, novice student nurse. And you know things. And you're diagnosing yourself. And you're diagnosing everybody else, right? And you're building into your superpower, which is what? What's, what's, what's our superpower? Assessment. There you go, right? Your health assessment. That's one of the biggest things that we teach you as a nurse is how to do a full head-to-toe health assessment to assess people for things. Because um, that's our biggest superpower. A lot of doctors, charge nurses, a lot of the people that we work with depend on our health assessment, what we see and what we track and assess to take care of these people. 
And so that's like, I'm all, and I know I'm a big superpower Marvel person, so I'm like, oh, here we go, you know? <laughs> Take my stethoscope, that's my cape, right? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, um, going on here, making sure that you really look at everything, keep yourself a little notebook of this is your track, and don't lose that. Don't forget your why of where you want to be if this is your calling, if this is where you want to be, okay? Um, but really make sure that you focus on that A and P. Uh, and if we're still having to need micro, if you go to BSN, you will have to have micro. Okay, <laughs> just to know, just so you know, when you when you go to BSN and you MSN all that, you will have to have all those other courses. So, but for right now, A and P, I'm telling you guys, it is so important. It is so important, especially when we're teaching you your health assessment. Anybody else have any other questions? I, I have another question though. Um, I did see that there's two E's and a C for the signings. Is that is that still um I guess is that a requirement or is that kind of depends? Yeah, so that right there we kind of changed that um because um we our expectation is for our, our scientists to at least have an A or B. You can have, must not have more than one C on your sciences. So that's a big deal because again, it's, it's all a building. So we want to make sure you have the best foundation. And, um, and so this is something that we, we worked with the science, the science people across the street to say, this is what we need, these are our expectations, because we're trying to build a stronger nurse, okay? So you really, if this is what you want, this is really what you gotta really focus in on. And so what I've told students before is if you can take this course, I would, I don't suggest to take it online. But if you can, that and that's the only option you have, I understand. But the best thing is to take it in class, to have your in class and lab, and to be there with that instructor. I'm just being I'm just being as transparent as I can because it's it's a big deal. Yes, ma'am. Can I say something? Yes. On your A and P one, I have the best instructor. I struggle, but if you can take it with Dr. Carter, he is marvelous. <laughs> You will learn to study. Yes. <laughs> you will learn to prioritize. You will learn a lot of the skills that you will need for nursing. And actually, I took Dr. Carter, too. She still scares me. <laughs> <laughs> but I learned so much. <gasps> but, I mean, it's a good scare, not a bad scare. So don't, don't take that to heart. Okay. It was a like, oh, I better study. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I better have my notebook. I better have all my things. Mm -hmm. You know, but she really... Put it into me as a student as well. I know that was a lot. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, she's really, really good. All of them are over there, actually, because like I said, we already had a meeting with all of them, so we're all on the same page. They know they know what we're looking for for what we're trying to build as a nursing student. So um, you're in good hands. I promise you. So Susan, have questions? Um, can they go visit y'all? Oh yes. Yes, if uh, for the ADM program, you can uh, call Miss uh, or Dr. Strawn, and her number is down here. That is Jill Fowler is her secretary, but she will definitely. Uh, if you want to talk to Dr. Strawn, you can definitely talk to her. And then for the ADN program, I mean, for the LVN program, you would want to talk to um, um, Miss Steffi, Jennifer Steffi. And so if we were to go back and look at the LVN program, I know her phone number is down there. But you can call um, uh, Jill Fowler, and she will definitely put you in with um, Dr. Strong. So here, here are all the numbers here. So our director for LVN is Ms. Jennifer Steffi, and then for the ADN program is Dr. Strawn, and then our dean for all of health sciences is uh, Dr. Finley. 
Yes. For the T's test? Is that like, can you do multiple attempts or just like a one? Yeah, you can do one. Yes. You can do multiple attempts for T's test. I would say try to get the, the highest number that you can on those. And study. They give you a study guide. So study, making sure, my biggest thing is making sure you know where your weaknesses are and focus on your weaknesses to build them to be stronger. Because um, as an adult learner, whatever we were weak in, when we graduated high school, it's going to carry with us if we don't if we don't pay attention to it. It's like a little baby, you know what I mean? Like if I'm weak in science and I don't build up this baby, you know what I mean? It's going to stay weak, okay? And then it'll get you later on, and we don't want that to happen. So we want you to be strong. Any other questions? These are great questions. Right. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate yes, you. thank you. And, uh, and if you can fill out your evaluation, or we can go ahead and do a drawing for the door plates. Um, do y'all want this, or do y'all just? Yeah, I mean, we can. I don't know how it stayed on. Oh, well, like uh, it's there. I don't hear anything like in here. Uh, look on this side. It was on this side. Um, better. Uh, I can't 